This text was written by Kan Tiranitar from osx86.net. All credits go to him, even though he don't want to take credits for this text. This will also work on uh, most of the family of the Broadcom 43XX, but will also work on the Belkin F5D7000 Buffalo W. L12 PCI G545 Linksys Dynex Netgear and probably also some other cards. So be sure to check out my description because uh, up there you will find all the cards that might work. And this installation, uh, of course, is very, very rare. So make sure to check it and see how this card can work as a perfect airport uh, card in your hacking tosh machine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the 43XX Broadcom chip driver um, in a hacking Tosh machine. I just installed Mac OS X 10.7.2 on a Dell D830 and it has 3 gigabytes of memory. So let's take a fast look at the specifications of this machine. Here you can see it, 10.7.2, 3, gigab 3 gigabytes of RAM, Intel 2-core Duo. So this is not a crazy machine, but this thing was never meant to run Mac. So I inserted a Broadcom card. Let's go see how to do it. I just created this hacking touch. It's a Dell D830, but the Wi-Fi card in the Dells are from Intel and in no way you will get them to work. With a, with a hacking touch in a hacking touch configuration. So what did I do? I inserted a Broadcom 43XX card. It's uh, in fact the 43, I think 23 chipset. So uh, in fact, yeah, um, this thing, we can get it to work, but how and you know how to do it. All right, you will need the Broadcom 43X uh, family uh, revision two text that is this uh, little text that you see there and we will have to fix the driver so what will we do first of all we will go to uh, my computer click lion we go to extra we go to extensions okay and we insert the text file in there now we go back and we go back to system library and then in here we're going to look for extensions in here we must find the io networking extension let's see where it is it's all the way down mess user that's a little bit too far Here it is. You see, I'm scrolling so you can, you know, find it uh, as well. I O networking family text. Copy it to the desktop. This will be a copy. It will not remove it from there. And then we go back to extra. And we go to extensions and we pop it into extensions. Okay, though. Now we close this. In fact, now we can reboot and the machine will uh, find this uh, this this Wi-Fi card. But not as yet. We will uh, start up my hack. We log in with our password, administrator password, and then we're just gonna hit Run My Fix. What will it do? It will, oh no, not uh, just on the hard drive. You see, uh, make sure that you select the hard drive. That is just a little stripe that you will see there. And then you hit OK. And then it will uh, correct. We're gonna do a full. You see, you can choose for uh, full and quick. I'm gonna go for full. And then it will uh, also uh, rebuild uh, all the text and set everything right. And then after this, we're going to do a reboot. Okay, so this is very, very important. It's repairing all these permissions, etc. So this might take a while. And when this is done, we're going to do a reboot. Okay, though, my hack finished. So now we're going to reboot. 
Don't forget to use the boot flag. Dash V and dash F. Okay. There we go. We're rebooting. We're gonna hit the space. And then we hit dash V, dash F. Okay, it's important, very important. At least on this Dell D830, it's important with this chipset and you know, the way I installed it, it will now um, check all the drivers. It will go see if everything is in place and in order. It will also tell us if something went wrong with the installing of the Broadcom and soon somewhere here we will also see that the Broadcom will be working and installed we needed to fix the permissions after we inserted the text um, a simple reboot as I discovered did not help but several reboots also with dash V option at a certain moment uh, the card was working and it was up so I knew at that time that uh, we needed to fix that and here we're gonna see CPI fixed Apple compression Apple trackpad mm. Take a closer look there Executing Atlan Broadcom Success Let's start lookup field. That's because it's not connected to the internet. And now we're also gonna get the Broadcom. Airport Broadcom Internet, you see that? 43X, boom, and we are in. And now I'm gonna show you how to get the Wi-Fi to work. You will see a Wi-Fi sign here that it's kinda off, you see that? Let's take a look at that. Probably you cannot even see it. This thing is so bloody dark. Okay, so um, we're gonna go to uh, system preferences. We go to network. And here it will say new hardware detected. We turn the Wi-Fi on, apply. And the Wi-Fi stations are up and airport is working. This is how to fix the 43XX driver and it's also uh, for many other devices I will put all the devices in the description but this is how to fix it peeps and this is how to get airport working We're, airport is now up and running we only thing we have is log into one of the uh, stations and we will be online if this information helped please like subscribe